Now it's time to finish the video about the ex-director Janes Ogulin. I was waiting for this video, I have to say, for a very long time and uh, it was a lot of uh, information that uh, was just uh, very controversial information I got from MK Ultra did not match the information I'm about to give you right now finally I got lucky with a breakthrough as I figure out the whereabouts of a criminal who was involved in crime against me on June the 21st 2024 that was a uniform police officer with three stars um, finally I got a hold of uh, director Jana Zogulin ex director Jana Zogulin of Nova Mesto Police once I figure out who that guy was, once I figure out about location at Stopice, I finally got an entire information about this individual from MK Ultra. See this here? This is the video I have posted yesterday. I titled one is more about uniformed police criminal who met me at the police station with a criminal employed as investigator June 21st of 2024. Uh, I finally managed to investigate today, finally today, shit, today is already July 5th, 2000, uh, July 4, this will go under July 4, 2024, yesterday, practically today, yesterday, this is a morning hours, it's 2.30 in the morning. I was doing some work, cutting grass, and as I was doing this stuff, I was thinking more about this whole thing. And finally also learned who was behind the crime of June the 21st 2024 and so now scientifically as well as with the physical evidence with the physical proofs I will be capable to prove without absolutely any doubt that behind the crime against me which took place on June the 21st 2024 at the police station in fact were British royals directly Prince Andrew and Prince Charles now King Charles uh, individual who was without uniform and acted as an investigator was a criminal who was involved in MK Ultra sometimes already in 97 96 he was the first time when he would be inside of our house here and it would be a Prince Andrew uh, and Charles that instigated as soon as I would leave the United States the two instigated that uh, for several of the police officers that they are schizophrenics and I didn't need much because I was tortured uh, very angry about the whole being hijacked from the US uh, and I took upon these investigators and started to call them, seeing them schizophrenics. And this individual in particular uh, even pretended himself to be a schizophrenic. This police investigator, <laughs> police investigator, uh, who acted like a schizophrenic even during MK Ultra, uh, and who alerted me together with a Charles and with a Andrew about his facial characteristics similar to the Mark Zuckerberg 
uh, but different, uh, suggested that through that torture, literally, uh, demanded from me to see in one a schizophrenic. This is the stuff that was used, and I did. I called them schizophrenics, anything you want. They dared me the same way, like, as I explained. This is the torture that is based on violence, and it affects one in a very similar way. They try to affect in a very similar way as to the, uh, you know, as if you would be dealing with a drunk person. But MK Ultra, it's not a drunk. That's not being drunk. That still gives you a chance to analyze, understand, without any ability to properly answer, because this is what this shit is all about. So it's about building frustrations, anger in one, through the violence, uh, temptations, uh, arguments in front of one with third party people uh, to confuse one, irate one, and bully, harass, intimidate, uh, lure one into trap so that he would do something you're not supposed to, and so on. Their one, basically, their one. And so this was exactly the model that British royals have used to... The British royals always placed, played uh, a race tickets. It was always about a race ticket. The race ticket is located in London, at the Buckingham Palace, or the Windsor Castle. That's a race ticket. Those are the people that suffer the most, the most persecuted people uh, that I know on the planet, the people that suffered the most. And, uh, well, this is at least the way they wanted to be seen. Uh, they are always righteous, they're always on the right side of the story, and such was their case against me through psychiatry, for which they anticipated, uh, due to deliberate torture procedure, which also took place at the police station, where they, I already talked about, harass with this issue on my stopping at the police station and fight, all that stuff I already described. Uh, I would even go dare me. I would even go dare me, literally dare me, that I would even go. Now I'm talking about the Prince Charles here. Prince Charles, now King Charles, who dared me to call one a schizophrenic on, together with this in a parenthesis investigator dared me to call one as a schizophrenic uh, like I did during MK Ultra, based on his facial features and based on his behavior which he even deliberately bullied harassed with uh, when he would do crime against me at the police station like he did on June the 21st so he dared me he said if you do this I'm gonna bury you you're dead and so on. So you see uh, the type of crime this is. Um, this was June 21st was a physical assault, a top of physical assaults, a top of psychiatric hospitalization for which the police investigator even who met me at the police station on June 21st testifying me on several occasions was behind the psychiatric hospitalization. He was the one who in fact demanded from me to be hospitalized, labeled with a paranoid schizophrenia on behalf of London to dare me on June the 21st with what you have not completely witnessed yet. I yet have to translate the video and exactly describe who was where, what exactly was happening. Yeah. So don't fucking say that it was not London who sponsored the attack on me on June the 21st, 2024, at British Royals. Uh, Princess Anne, <laughs> all those worries for me uh, in respect to the second police 
criminal, uniformed police criminal whom I have identified, did you no good. They do you no good, they did you no good, and you as entire family are going to be treated, seen exactly in the same light without any exception, including Edward, Princess Anne, not only Charles and Andrew. Now about the police director, Janus Ogulin, the right hand of Milan Kuchan, uh, a deputy of, you know, obviously ex-police director. Let's go and see this here. We're gonna... Uh, through this case here is the identified one and today I did the work on the field I cut the grass I worked and I thought about this thing and I finally learned about who police investigator um, who the uh, who the director of the novel Mesto police is so let's go and we're gonna see this is a novel Mesto city Yes, yes, of course, Novo Mesto City, it's very, very short story, and for every one of this, I'm going to eventually even point you out as proofs that there is no way I would not even know this criminal otherwise. I got a lot of answer about what went on, and I am really, really pleased to say that from this point of view, Director of Novo Mesto Police uh, will be taken care of. That means that he's going to get considerable few life sentences. This guy is not going to get away. This is Jana Zogul, and this is this is individual. Let me demonstrate you before we do this. We are talking about this here. We are talking about this beautiful bird here. He did me so many problems. This guy did so many trouble. Uh, after you hear what I have to say today, I don't care who you are, where you are at. You too will crave to see this guy punished severely for what he did to me. So there is a, such a place like a Gotnavas, you know. First of all, uh, I used to live here in the city. Let me demonstrate to you. Just about here, this, and at this location here, the uh, two places. Okay, closer. So about here. Okay, and in this case we have what is known as Gotnavas. This is this location here. It's not close to our home, and we also have what is known as a Schmichel. Schmichel is actually also a location that is quite close to where my father is at. But first, we're going to do the Gotnavas. The Gotnavas is where the husband from my ex-husband of my uh, sister is from. So if you take a Gotnavas like this, And we'll be toward this direction here, and we we'll probably in this area, I would say, Ulitsa Ivanaroba. You see the stuff that you see here? Let me demonstrate you a little bit like this. <laughs> I haven't been here for a very, 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 very long time. Shit, and Naomi actually even got me somewhere. 
me see where exactly I am at. Okay. And I am heading to the home of my... Uh, if I, can, I can see him here. This is his brother, I think. From the... This is a brother of... My sister's husband is Matyas Golop right there. He's got the star on a red star with uh, what looks like a from Josip Broz Tita. He's got that shirt he's wearing. Very nice. So this here, this would be his place. Uh, well, the neighbor here from these people was uh, just down the street is this individual here, which I, whom I have demonstrated you. I understand that this is where he grew up. That's his Yanis Ogulin, and he was always involved whenever I was there. These people that I demonstrated you, I will demand for every one of them jail sentence without any exception. I am only sorry that some of them passed away because I would love nothing more than to take the shit out of these people. This is scum. This is from my sister husband family this is a scum of the scum unprecedented scum so this is where he was neighbor of these people here yeah um, since my childhood basically I got to know this individual from here that's one thing and the second thing is this here this is where he moved to he got a lady that's an interesting case where he moved to is where the sister built her house with her husband and this is on a new location here at Schmichel these people um, that I demonstrated you, and even worse in another location that I'm going to demonstrate you now. These people, there was so much MK Ultra violence in this street that you possibly cannot imagine what the fuck went on inside of that street because they didn't want me to come anywhere even close. They didn't want. They didn't want me in that area for what they also stated because of the police director and this is brutal because it, it ties together with my sister and with the police director it's 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 uh, it's a brutal stuff they didn't want me to even think about you know when you think about something in this case in MK Ultra they don't even allow you to think about things and they do this through extreme violence. I mean, you're talking about the Guantanamo quadrupled shit. Drugged up and nothing other than trauma from house to house. Terror, life threats and so on. It doesn't go in one year, two, three, four, ten, twenty. Yeah, probably thirty more years that they traumatize with this shit. So that I would not even come close to it just a violent street a thuggery and it's not about the street but it's entire settlement you're talking about entire settlements so that you would not come anywhere even close so that if you would drive you would just rather drive somewhere else because you have a bad feeling about something that's how it operates this here this is Michael this here this here so that you you get to understand what what exactly we're dealing with here what kind of business this is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here in this street here and uh, uh, let me see where exactly about then we're gonna go here and I'm gonna turn here and now I'm gonna take you to my sister's house this is where she used to live.
Uh, I don't go here. I, I, I just, I do not go there. I don't, I don't go anywhere here. I don't want to be anywhere there. Uh, I don't want to have nothing to do with this because uh, I think at the right state of mind, you know, this stuff is dangerous. Uh, there is plenty of violent thugs that are involved in this stuff. And before you know, it's not about being in a bad neighborhood. But you have, a, I'm in a war with the Slovenian police as a whole. I'm not in a war with these people here. It's some, it's, this is about something else. It's about, imagine your parliament being involved in this, in extermination procedure against you. This is very, very tough stuff. It's not so easy. This is her ex-husband's house. She's at another location. His name Golob, Golob Brane, Bronislav Golob. And here, you know, when you come here to this street here, like a main street, you go to the main street. I took the wrong turn, I think, here, right? Uh, you have to go to this side. Have to go this way to the end. Let me see where exactly bottom here. Badam, badam, badam. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just gotta make sure that this is, is this, no it's not, yeah, his house where he came and married there, you know, he married to this lady, this is a lady who was very, very beautiful, this is a lady he got married to the lady I was completely crazy about. And this is what makes it interesting, the whole thing. So this here, this is the... Hell, man. Is this not... Let me see this here. Is this, this is house? Yeah, this is, sorry, this is his house here. This is his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his house. Okay, now I'm in the right place. Shuklietova 11. This here. This would be the house. Yeah, this would be this would be X from my. This used to be my sister's house, and the two separated. Um, so this criminal should be located. I don't think he's in this house. I think he's actually, you go out here. Yeah, shit. As well as mine, it could be that he's in that house and I'm not even sure because this looks so damn different. Yeah, right next door to him, basically. Which house the hell? When you drive with a car, is different. Okay, 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 okay. I, I am not, I'm not completely, I'm not completely 100%, but it could be probably this house here. It might be this house or that house. I'm not totally sure about it. Which, that would be like 28 Optash Um No, actually, the thing is, it's it's something else I have to say. He played with these houses here back and forth. He was confusing about this stuff. He was making all kinds of problems so that he would not be identified. He involved me with the neighbors. It would be very difficult to say exactly which one of these houses is. Um, it could be one of these houses too. But I had a pick and I demonstrated you exactly which one for which one I think it was, you know, and so I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I don't know which house he is. 13 Shukletova Street, I don't know. These are the two houses I pick because of what I told you about, because this was 
exactly what I stated it was. How the hell in the house even looks the same? And it's, it's, uh, uh, look at that. Look at this. It got me. Uh, this, is, this is the neighbor. This is from the neighbor, what I demonstrated you first. Okay. And that's my, you can see him right there. No, that's a man right there, right there. That you see right there, that's X for my sister. Yeah. So now you get the two brothers. That was his brother that you saw earlier with that star and with the Yosip Brosti to that stuff. And this here, this is his brother also, Bronislav. Uh, and so, Bronislav Galup. Uh, and so, no, he say Galup, Galup. It's funny. Um, if I translate, it's called a pigeon. A pigeon, the same thing like this guy here, a Robert Golop. He's also pigeon. His name is also pigeon if translated to. Yeah, that's exactly the last name we're talking about. Yeah, and I think I dedicated to him quite a lot. Here, yeah. uh, you know, Sloboda uh, Golop stated to me. Freedom, yes. Uh, D A means yes in English, circled. Uh, but he also had that other version of the sloboda, uh, sloboda, sloboda, uh, sloboda, sloboda, and that was if I would not be good. And then it would be also this here, you know, da, according to Golop. This is how Robert Golop, Dr. Robert Golop, interpreted his views during MK Ultra. That's how he believed that he can enforce torture. Yeah. So I don't have anything else to say other than this police director. Uh, neighbor from this guy this is this him built house here you know but this police director he moved here he got um, he got he he posed in this house and he posed also let me see this here and he posed he posed in that house that I demonstrated you And he posts in this area also. Um, here is supposed to have a colleague, somebody else that also worked for the police. Another police officer investigator uh, who easily could, or I should say, well, could be one of these two houses here. I don't know. But the two work. Uh, supposedly from this neighborhood and in front of the house which I demonstrated you right here so this this is basically the area where this clown here I told you about was involved in it since my childhood was involved in it this is an individual who witnessed also the old director who negotiated literally a debt uh, getting me killed literally with my father about a year and a half before we moved into this new house here at a Kirka village yeah uh, so not only he witnessed all that but he tried to get me literally killed he is directly involved in home for elderly issues just as I have explained so he turned my life into hell he destroyed my life, he destroyed 52 years of my life, he did everything possible to get me killed, uh, assisting the old director who in 99, in 2000 guaranteed me is going to get me killed. So 
He acted like he wasn't sure that the whole thing was a joke in 2000. However, he decided in my face in 99, both of them started extremely violent in indicate their intentions directly in my face. They lost it, and it's a good thing they lost control over their emotional, psychological uh, feelings enough for me to have ability to very, very strongly recall these events, this murderous ritual, this guarantees in the face on how they're going to get me killed. So now you have a whole set of the people that were involved in it that explains everything about who did what and what I love about myself is also investigated this issue here pertaining to June 21st this is what I liked about this stuff, this meeting on June the 21st. Finally, today, let's just suppose today is July 4. I know it's July 5th already, but finally I realized I got scientifically proven about who wanted and how they wanted to get me killed. That's the stuff I also will post below. I'm going to give you that video tomorrow. It's going to be under the video. It's I learned from the gardening because Prince Charles loved gardening and he was playing with the gardening at this place here. He was fucking around with the gardening a bit too much with also some other people, with all kinds of people that would come here, would use police to assist my parents with the gardening. Not only other people, all kinds of people that would come here. It took place on a 21st. This crime took place on a 21st. And I finally got to figure out the whole thing on the 4th. So this is, it took me no less than two weeks to learn what the June the 21st, 2024, as it was, according to MK Ultra, what the fuck that stuff was all about. And I nearly missed one. I already wanted to go over. And then I started to think about other issues, uh, about these people, about the gardening. I I started to think about this stoppage location and so on. And I really recall that investigator. I recall the investigator, the criminal, the thug, the gangster, exactly about who he was. In 96, that thug, that uniformed thug, acted in this home violently and acted even as a schizophrenic. Now, there is another issue that I have to declare you about. Let me explain to you the issue about the schizophrenia so that you will understand what this schizophrenia is in Slovenia. That you understand totally about the schizophrenia. How? What exactly? What is this? What role did that have in Slovenia? In my life, how the schizophrenia, how I learned about the schizophrenia. The schizophrenia I was explained for the first time what the schizophrenia is in the school settings. Even I remember this now. When I was age 9 or 10, and it was at the grammar school Gurm, and it was exactly like this. Grammar school Gurm. This is the school. And the teacher that we had, she explained to us like this. And um, 
I'm uh, I'm going to explain to something else. Uh, this teacher. And I'm saying this because this guy was not even my schoolmate. I'm talking about this individual here who was with me in the kindergarten. This here, his name was Peterlin, Yerne Peterlin. Same age like I am, uh, more or less, I don't know, a few months older or a year older or whatever. And uh, he loved to act it like a schizophrenic. This here, under all the credentials, uh, if you would consider this individual in another country for what he was doing, this individual, the only thing that would happen is he would have, if he acted like this in the US or some other country, he would have ambulance vehicle in front of his home, within a minute he would be gone and on a psychiatric medications for the rest of his life. He had proven himself during MK Ultra to be a 100% schizo. 100%. You know, now I'm going to explain to you how he became a schizophrenic. He was a teacher that would be in a fourth grade, that sometimes they would join classes and it just happened so that we would meet from other classes that we would come together and we would talk about it, whatever, I don't know how that is, but sometimes they would have meetings with the classes and it's very possible also that I was taking some kind of extra class, like I like moderatorstvo, I don't know how you say that, and he might have participated in that, moderatorstvo. Um, I don't know how do you how do you call this stuff. Um, this is not what this is. Uh, this used to be like um, designing of uh, all kinds of stuff, boats and you know different things. Um, and this was for the kids. They would design their own whatever they wanted to build. You know things you know this was my uh, stuff I was interested in as a child yeah and I it appears maybe he was too I don't know or maybe somewhere else that we met we would have a common interests and we would met on occasion he was a teacher that would also come sometimes to substitute the teachers that were missing in our class it was a female who on opportunity have explained us what the schizophrenia is uh, and what was interesting about her was she suggested that schizophrenia can also be good and insisted us on how we should all act like a schizophrenics just to pretend that we are schizophrenics as a children and everybody in the class it was like uh, they got excited about that stuff. They, they started to think about these things. I quickly analyzed this thing and I realized that this is not for me. And I was just not interested and this teacher said, no good, this is no good. This is no good. Funny, because you're not interested in, in exactly you going to be a schizophrenic. Uh, he was very interested. He was very interested in a talent of the schizophrenia. My neighbor. What's it, what separated him from other kids is that the teacher stated that for your homeland, for your motherland, Yugoslavia, uh, it's okay. You are also entitled. You have the right to also act as a schizophrenic even if you are not. And... So what he started to do with other kids from this grammar school is claim the stuff that I would do something that I did not have anything to do with it and would start to retaliate against me for something that did not exist. So this kind of stuff started to culminate in the physical violence for the things that I wouldn't even do. In other words, what you say, the kids will be picking up on you. 
<laughs> uh, when he started to do this stuff during MK Ultra as an adult man, they classified him, they labeled him as a schizophrenic, and this is a violent, uh, which in, they need about like three years to stop his violence from repeating itself because he got so much used to doing this stuff in the school he was picking up on other kids also and stuff and when i was defenseless jerked up i was just the perfect catch for that stuff you know um me stating what i stated i don't have anything else to say i have identified absolutely everybody who did what kind of part there's a whole lot of crime murder i have to expose they did uh, but the numbers add together even for june even for the June the 21st, 2024, therefore, two weeks ago, the British paid cash, the British paid money, they financed the operation, and they demanded from me, as they stated, we're not going to label you as a mentally ill or schizophrenic or paranoid, unless you're going to call this guy a schizophrenic or paranoid. Uh, and the police investigator who did the crime as agreed upon with Yana Zogolin, ex-director that I demonstrated, you talked to you about right now. Um, he did exactly everything possible he could, including engaging violence over there, verbal violence, aggression, uh, claiming me that I stated something uh, that I had not and so on, uh, that eventually uh, would give me every right to call him a schizophrenic. Well, uh, the police anticipated I would call him a schizophrenic because they labeled me through the lies with my parents, with my family members as a schizophrenic in 2012. And so that's how they opened. That's how the British Royals hope they can open the psychiatric ticket against me through the police department novel master. Thanks for watching this video. Now what's going to happen is going to be a translation of the meeting into English language, which I had in June uh, 21st, 2024. How lucky the fuck I am that I did not go to the police station. How lucky the fuck I am I did not even translate the video into English language yet. How lucky I am. I have all the police investigators, people, everything. A research broken down from directors to investigators to the police officers. There is a few more I remember who were involved in it. Uh, none of them will escape me. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. And this was the video about Jana Zogulin as well as I give a little bit background about a schizophrenia issues, how that works in Slovenia, uh, and exactly what June the 21st, 2024, uh, according to what British royals alone demanded, dictated, would significate for me. Um, Princess Anne, you totally fuck it up with playing a good Samaritan, because you're not. <laughs>